Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP YouTube channel. You're joining me on an epic day today. Today is the first day I get to use the Appleton Steel Ultra. This is the Dark Knight. So as you can see, today is the very first day I'll be working on the Appleton Steel and to say I'm super excited would be the understatement of the century. As a kid at Christmas last night, could not sleep one little bit. So excited to wake up in the morning and use this beast. I'm a little bit apprehensive because obviously I've never used it before so we're going to take our time. Setting it up as well, we need to make sure everything's perfect. It's pretty simple to set up to be fair, but I'm quite good at messing things up so I need to be super careful and make sure that everything's set up properly and be seriously careful when I put it in the first couple of cows that I don't do anything wrong. So anyway, let's crack on with the day and enjoy the apple and steel. getting used to it already to be honest. The position of the feet is really really nice, especially at the back. And the front ones are just going to take a little bit of getting used to. But actually the access to them is far, far better than it was on my last crush. The front feet, we can push that lever down. This one goes in, around the dew claws, up. synchronized on it so you just push the remote control actually works really well and I'm starting to get fluent with it but it'll take a little while so where belly band goes down with one touch of the button kick plates come in so the whole crush and the back case go around like how a... and that's us ready for the next cast
far so good. I feel really, really blessed to be working on this right now. I really, really do. Chuffed a bit and can't wait to get to grips with this crush properly over the next week and get fully up to speed. So a quick little tour here guys. We've got the back gates here with these flappy things. These are so that the cows can't see out, but we can see in. This is the rear sorting gate, which is hydraulic. So the cows come up and we have to stop the next one coming in. And no cow is coming up behind us up the rear. This is for storing bandages, so a bandage chute. And we've got these huge cupboards with a radio, uh, power outlets, loads and loads and loads of storage here is a hot box so this is all heated and insulated we've got power outlets in here this will keep the glue nice and warm to make sure that it goes off nice and quick and sets really hard down here we've got shelves storage containers storage for my gas canister and all of these levers they all work the same on this side as they do on that side we've got dual controls around the back and the remote control does everything that these do as well. Got power outlets here. Really, really good lights above every foot, and there's two at the back actually. Um, and then we've got fans on every corner as well. Actually, it's not that warm, so turn the fans off. This wheel's a jockey wheel for moving it around slightly, just for shifting it around the farm, but it needs to be fairly smooth to use it because the crush is so heavy. Around this side, we've got more power outlets, lights. These are speed controls, there's speed controls on every valve so you can speed up or slow down every single feature on the whole crush. Um, extension lead, so we've got like, I don't know, 50 meters or something there, it's quite a long. Um, more storage here. Again, it all needs organized. Printer's in there, knife sharpener's in there, and uh, room for the grinders at the top. Around this side, there's cable holders, cable reels. This is a roof which extends right out to, to protect us from the sun and from the rain, obviously. Again, we've got dual controls here, so we can control everything here that we can from the front. More shelves and power outlets around the back here. Stainless mud guards, so they always look good. These are anti-kick plates, so they swing in every time a cow goes in. Grinder holders, double knife holders, a uh, holder for our iPad, but actually, I was a little bit small for that though, so we'll have to either make it smaller or get a larger case for the iPad. We've got speakers all the way around the crush, uh, and these are hangers for hanging extra gates. Some on the front, some on the sides, and some on the back. But we don't carry gates, so the plan, hopefully, is never to carry gates actually, because if we do, then we'll end up having to clean for hours and hours. Anyway, let's crack on. I'm just over 20 cows today and already I'm starting to get to grips with it. It does feel a bit alien to me, I'm not gonna lie. Just because all the buttons, all the levers, all the remote control functions are all different. 
what I'm used to, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Push one button to drop the belly band and open the little anti kick gates. One to drop the whole crush. Open the head yoke and away she goes. This thing is absolutely awesome and I cannot wait to really get using it. Today's just been a kind of trial. We've done 22 or 23 cows, I think. Um, yeah, finding my feet, but it is going to be awesome. I'm so impressed with it. Now the big wash and get it hitched back on. It should go without saying that today has been absolutely awesome. This has literally been a dream come true for me today. The Appleton Steel Ultra Hoof Trimming Shoe is the world leader. It is absolutely fantastic and today went without a hitch. I cannot wait to get my teeth properly into this machine and get trimming the cows in the week ahead. As always guys, thank you very, 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 very much if you've made it this far. It really does mean the world to me. Continue to watch, continue to comment, continue to like and continue to smash that subscribe button. Cheers guys, catch you in the next one.